Ah, Josina Anderson is there and on the field. Boy, you picked a good one to go to. This was nuts. They came way back. They're crazy. Um, being there in the stadium, uh, was this, what was it like after the game? I'm sure you got Miami reaction and Baltimore reaction. Let's first start with Miami. What was their mood? What did they have to say after this kind of comeback? Um, you know, there's different ways to handle this when you come back. Well, we just got out of the Dolphins uh, locker room not too long ago. Very exuberant uh, scene. But at the same time, I would say not overly so. I think, you know, what's really interesting about this team is that I feel like I felt the juice even when I covered them in the joint practices against the Bucks in training camp. But one thing that was also very interesting is that even after they just had that big win against the Patriots last week, I heard, you know, from inside that Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waller, they turned down 35 national media requests to do interviews and there's a reason why I'm saying this because they realize it's just win it was just one win and it's kind of the same point that I'm trying to make even though they were exuberant and you could feel that happiness and relief rather uh, in the locker room at the same time there was still somewhat of a business tone no one was overly so and I had an opportunity to speak to Melvin Ingram in the locker room and also Xavier Howard one of the reasons why I also wanted to talk to the defensive guys and I get to my interview with Raheem Mostert is because I wanted to get their opinion of what it was like initially when Lamar Jackson is going off everyone on social media is talking about you got to bring him the bricks you got to secure the bag you know take care of Lamar because he had an excellent performance which by the way the loss takes nothing away from he did his job but going into this game everyone was talking about the Dolphins defense and what they did I believe it was week eight or week 10 one of those last year when they won 22 10 and they had all those blitzes all those cover zero looks that was very effective against Lamar Head coach John Harbaugh said it would be negligent if they didn't address that and really get a handle of that. And they showed that in the first half. But the defensive guys in the locker room kept talking about how it was just one play, one play after the other. Keep our heads into it. Don't get too high, get too low. And obviously feeding off of two is five touchdowns in the second half when all these people were talking about Tua coming into this game during the game for him to have such a, a huge performance like that. So it was a lot of recognition of the tweaks that they were able to make defensively and also giving their props to Tua specifically in the second half. All right, meanwhile, Baltimore, I, I, is it anger? Is it stunned silence? Is it disbelief? There's a lot of different ways that I could see this team, this city, that building handling what just happened. Uh, what was it like from that perspective afterwards? Disappointment. I mean, head coach John Harbaugh said we all have to own this. And that's basically what it is. And it's unfortunate because they did do their jobs in terms of figuring out the Dolphins defense puzzle that they were faced with last year that really caught them off guard. And they showed that the effort, the work, all of this stuff in training camp definitely did work. But sometimes when that gap gets a little too high, you know, things happen defensively. I'm not necessarily saying they let down, but obviously I think what, and this is what I would really say, because out of the second half, I thought that uh, Mike McDaniels did a brilliant job on that first possession where they His really got back to what it is that the- he's known for working the clock taking their time, you know, working the run game with Raheem Mostert. They were able to kind of steady themselves and get a score off of that. And I thought that that was key because not only did they take a chunk of time off the clock, but they were able to get back in their mode offensively. That is exactly what Mike McDaniels wants to do. Even though their rushing game wasn't great against the Patriots, they still won time of possession. And that's what they got back to to get them back on the table at the beginning of the second half. Well done. Thank you very much, Joe. It's been too long since I, uh, we spoke. Let's do it again soon. <laughs> Obviously, all the time. Good, good to have you. All right. Uh, inside the NFL, exclusively on Paramount Plus. You want to check it out. Look at that crew. They are ready to go. Giving you the absolute best analysis. You check it out. You get a new episode every Tuesday. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.